So I'll do this one that last week. So uh, the, the theta is going to do a T. So a T, if you want to show, is a flat uh, thrust and kick, right? The differences between the way we like to do it in uh, uh, Chasse Frontel is once again, there's no real chamber I'm push. It's more like my leg comes up and my hip goes out. So my leg comes up with that slight bend in so the position for the kicks. The entire box is always the same slight bend in the knee, and everything else is kicked. There's no real chamber. So when I do the T, my leg comes up and I just hip stab into it. <laughs> so Brian's going to come with that tee. Oh yeah, and it sucks. Yeah, you get it, and especially if you're coming in. When you come in and they tee, whoosh, it's a it's a spear thrust in the so, so when he comes, I'm going to step back and I'm going to try to scoop it. You're going to recognize this the similarity to uh, when we do sabat. Yeah. Right? So if he does a uh, sabat round kick, sabat round kick, 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 we do that same thing where we do the the catch. I'm just going to use my rear hand, my, my hand to scoop it. I'm just going to pass it off and then go over a rear kick and then a quick switch, cross or cross. And he's going to come with a cross. I'm going to carry it down for him. I'm going to throw a cross over top. Go to cross. Carry down, cross, hook, cross, and then two kicks. Okay. So just showing how you can be a little bit more involved than just the basic standing in front of the guy and slugging it out. And it's very similar to Sabat. We have this exact same thing that we do in Sabat. And Sabat, when he does the round kick, right? When I pull it down, I go rear kick and then lead kick. I'm doing the same thing. He comes with the teeth. I'm going to scoop it. I'm going to kick his leg. And then I'm going to land for a cross. Cross, he throws the cross and step on the parry. So I'm using a forearm parry and then crossing right over top. Boom. Oh, cross, two kicks. Those last two kicks could be just the leg and then the body. Be all sorts of stuff, right? It could be leg, head, head down, but we're just going to do mid kicks because for the yeah. I'm tired of demonstrating, so you guys should feel really good. <laughs> right? Very slowly this time. He comes with that teeth. So I back off it's because I don't want uh, to give myself a little bit of room. I back off and I just scoop it. All I'm trying to do is move it off the line, and then I punish that leg, and then I punish the body. Cross, hook, cross, parry, cross, hook, cross, two kicks. Okay? Yes? Last one. Now you're the pads are dusty and I'm just as dusty. <laughs> <laughs> I, like, I picked this one to do because I like the connection to that. But you can see the, what I stress all the time, there's more similarities than there are differences. The ideas of what to do when somebody's kicking you are going to be the same. Right? De destroy that leg, hit the body, pick up the computer. That's the plan, right? That's what you say. When it comes with that teeth, I step back, I'm going to punish that leg. And then make it hard for him to breathe, and then make it hard for him to think, and then just make sure he's done. So, boom, 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 cross. Okay, this bad, so it shouldn't be too bad. So, very slow. Hit the leg, quick switch into the body, cross, hook, cross, step out as you parry that, and cross, hook, cross, and double kick. All right? Yes? Last one, guys. When that cross comes, and he's throwing that cross, right? I'm going to step out. Right? Oh, that's right. So I'm stepping yeah. here. Cross. Yeah. Got it, Fred? Yeah, good. Boom, 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 boom,